This work could take weeks. Is it? Ellen, this is one of the spots that was cleared down today. This is what it looked like earlier today. The cleanup began just after 7 this morning. The homeless were given a chance to pack their personal belongings while the trash was being picked up. The plan is to go from one end of the boardwalk, then head north to Santa Monica. Depending on who you talk to, this is long overdue or not the right thing to do. I think it's been a long, it's been too long. And it's the beach. I mean, this is not, this is a tourist attraction, isn't it? I mean, this is not conducive to tourists. I think it became part of the attraction because it's a national news story. So let's go down to Venice Beach and look at the homeless people. The city of Los Angeles is working with a number of agencies like the St. Joseph Center and the Los Angeles Homeless Services Authority. Representatives went from tent to tent, checking in on the men and women who lived here, asking them what they need. The St. Joseph Center, an agency that provides the poor and homeless with resources, says it's going to take them longer to pack and clean up this area. Here's why. St. Joseph Center tells Eyewitness News we have found that the unhoused living here have more personal belongings than we anticipated. It will take us longer to work with them on sorting their items and moving their belongings to storage. You have to know there's stages and categories, levels to homelessness. This man who goes by the name of Black Moses says he's lived on Venice Beach for 12 years. Here's his perspective on this cleanup effort. You know, with me being a homeless man, I, I want to remain neutral because I come from that. You know, I, I know this life and I don't blame these people. This is just a, a, a overlapping of the corona. Some folks walking by during that report were telling us they're very happy to see the cleanup here. And as Ellen mentioned, the city says it'll take them a few weeks to clear out and clean.